Good morning, good morning. I'm a little early, I think, but uh, sitting on the new stool, and new stool, it's the old stool from the kitchen, okay? And, uh, um, I'm at that place, you know, thinking about 2016, thinking about 2017. Good morning, VMTL. Good morning, B uh, Bonnie Jean Klutz Keller House. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I'm I'm um, I'm waxing a bit old this morning on one hand, but I'm also thinking, you know, the worm's going to crawl out of the cocoon and it's going to fly, you know. And um, I'm thinking a lot about this, this coming 2017. Not that we're markers of days or times, but God is. <laughs> Uh, let me let me just uh, read to you something I just randomly opened to, and I think that the, one of the blessings of communion fire is that you can randomly open the scriptures, and they always speak to you about communion. Okay, um, does that mean I'm possessed? Yeah, I am. I'm possessed by the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Does that mean I'm fixated? Yeah, I'm fixated on Jesus. Hallelujah. Communion does that, doesn't it? Um, you know, I, I, I got to thinking about the incredible people God's brought across our path over the past four years. We're going into our fifth year of communion fire in January. And uh, uh, not all of it's documented, but a good four years of it is documented, you know. Um, this is uh, typically the journal that my friends see. This is from last night. We've got our little grid, you know. There's uh, Bob and uh, what Bob saw in the bread, Bob heard in the wine, what the overflow was, if there was one. What Camille and then Go Live is uh, set for today. And uh, then, then we met at uh, the curtains last night and we saw what Camille had to say and Bob and, and Mary uh, Cantwell and, and so forth. Anyway, um, been logging these things in now for four years. We have nearly 3,800 pages of uh, documented um, um, journaling about our communion fire experiences. Good morning, Veronica. Um, this is Zachariah 2. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of open the floor. Oh, this is my coffee. This is uh, Joe LaMena uh, designed cup based on his... Um, uh, Jesus appearance through the, well, the painting is of, of Jesus' face coming through the woods. And um, it's kind of like how communion fire is, that in our present day situation, like the woods, or this table on my porch, where, you know, we look we look at all, all outdoors, you know, and uh, see how pretty that power thing is in our backyard. We, we decorate it with plastic trees and flowers. <laughs> But, uh, you know, um, um, we'll have communion in a moment, but I just wanted to reflect how wonderful um, our communion fire family is. And uh, Bonnie Jean, you're very much part of that family now. And we realize that family is a joining of hearts. Um, it's really great to get together with other people. But what it really comes down to is, are you spending time with Jesus at his table? And... Um, uh, the Lord wants to go a whole new direction with this go live thing, and I'm not sure quite how it is, except he said fly. 2017 is fly. And here in Zechariah 2, uh, verse 6, it says, really, I randomly opened this, and I haven't even read it yet. Up, up, flee from the land of the north, says the Lord. For I have spread you abroad like the four winds of heaven, says the Lord. Up, Zion, escape you who dwell with the daughter of Babylon. For thus says the Lord of hosts, He sends me after glory to the nations which plunder you. Oh, man. For he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. For surely I will shake my hand against them and they shall become spoil for their servants. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. 
Sing and rejoice, O daughters of Zion, that behold, I am coming and I will dwell in your midst, says the Lord. Many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and they shall become my people, and I will dwell in your midst. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you, and the Lord will take possession of Judah as his inheritance in the Holy Land, and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord. For he is aroused from his holy habitation. Dear Lord, uh, I had a vision this morning of what what it was going to be. Patrick, it's great to see you. I was praying for you this morning. <laughs> I'm not surprised you're here. Praise God. Um, I woke up and, and, and I had this sense that I was supposed to be like this. When, when we went live, I was supposed to go like this. Awake, thou that sleepest, arise from among the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Well, where does he do that? He does that at his table. This is, this is uh, life with Jesus. Communion is life with Jesus. And what Zechariah described right here is not only the reconstituting of the nation of Israel and the reconstituting of his presence in Jerusalem, and that he's going to rule from Jerusalem, and nothing's going to stop him. Lord, we pray for Israel right now. This is how it works. Bob and his, his, uh, and his Holy Ghost time machine. Let's see here. I'm looking at Israel. I'm looking at Arabia. Why does the Lord have me fixed on Arabia? I don't know. But we pray for Arabia if God fixes my eyes on it. So we pray for all of the Arab nations this morning, Lord, and know that you're going to have all the nations for your inheritance. But the, the thing that blesses you, Lord, is that you're going to dwell in Judah. You're going to dwell, live in the praises of your people. We thank you for all that can praise your name this morning, Lord. We thank you that, that you put a new song in our mouth. Praise to our God. Many see it and fear and trust in the Lord. And so we pray for the Arab nations, and we pray for Israel, and we pray for Syria, and we pray for Morocco, and we pray for India, and we pray for China, and we pray for Hawaii, and we pray for California, and we pray for uh, Maryland, and, 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 and Norway, and we pray for um, South Africa, and we pray for Tanzania, and we pray for um, Ethiopia, we pray for Egypt, we pray for your work, your word, Lord God, just Hallelujah. We fly with you around the world in prayer. Amen. Praise God. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, are the neighborhood kids on your lawn again? <laughs> yes. Well, on his lawn. Where? I don't know. They're in Norway on the lawn. Uh, got one heading over there to be with his brother. And we got we got some that are, you know, down there in Chesley. And we got some that are uh, but I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Patrick. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for that. All right, so we, we, we fly with Jesus, okay? And, and you all make comments, and, and we're going to dialogue here on this go live thing, okay? So uh, as we orient ourselves toward flying with the Lord, 2017 is flying with the Lord. Communion is the place where we fly with Jesus. Just like that, we just prayed around the world. We flew with the Lord around the world. We placed our hand as though it was his hand, and he directs our thoughts, our, our ideas. Uh, we pray for Uganda. We pray for Rwanda. We pray for, hallelujah, South Africa. We pray for uh, Tim and Sally Salmon, if they're still over there in Zimbabwe, praise God. And we pray for... Um, um, all the work that's going on in Mexico with Javier Gomez and, and David Myers out in California and all my friends from Christ for the Nations. And, and we pray for Jim Hodges, my teacher, uh, <coughs> for um, a wonderful memory of the Garlocks. And, and we know, John, that you're, you're watching now. Praise God, um, watching this old student from CFNI. Um, look, our communion with Jesus is a constant thing. And that constancy is born out of coming to his table and just doing, you know, what he invited us to do. He says, come to me, come to me. Where do we come to him? Psalm 23 says he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Why in the presence of your enemies? So you know who they are. Uh, Camille had a disturbing sleep last night, you know, and, 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 
and she was dealing with strangers. And, you know, sometimes we deal with strangers, people who come into our life, people we don't know, people who who, who don't mean well from the very start. Well, you know, uh, we say, love you, bye-bye, and then you move on to the next situation. Whether it's a mental thing, you know, if, if, if it's in the, in, in the commerce of work, and you run into somebody that, you know, is unpleasant or, or you know, doesn't, doesn't bring in the light of Christ, then you have to be the light of Christ because that may, you may be the only Bible they ever read, right? Praise God. Yes, peaceful transition for our government. Ronnie, uh, praying for the peaceful transition of our government. Lord, we thank you for this great transition that's going on in our country, in our hearts, among your people, in your church, in your uh, presence, in your return. You know, the father's getting pretty excited. He knows the day, time, and the hour that his son is going to return. Amen? We're going to fly. One day we're going to fly, and it may be very, very soon. We may mean, Maybe we don't make it to 2017, right? Peaceful transition for our government in the meantime. Yes, Lord, let it be peaceful and wonderful. And we thank you for the prophecies from uh, Brother Kim Clement, and we thank you for his time here on the planet and for the, the work that you used him for to make, make your people aware of the impact of the prophetic. And, 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 and we pray for the Elijah list and the people there, and we pray for all of the assemblies of God, and we pray for all of the governors and, and the mayors and the senators and the congressmen. We, we pray that you rule in their hearts. Lord, you turn their hearts as the water brook. Amen. Yeah, I know Patrick loves that part. <laughs> Praise God. Okay, uh, anything you want to say is fine. Let's take a break, and uh, we'll come right back with communion fire. Well, no, we'll stay on this, and uh, I don't know how to do this, Lord. Okay, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have communion, okay? Uh, give it, you know, uh, time for you to go get another cup of coffee, and we'll come right back, okay? See you in a minute. Ciao, baby. <laughs> 